Hello, everybody. Welcome to today's live stream. This is a little funny because you think I'm live right now, but I'm actually not live. I have pre-recorded this. So I am gone right now. Um, had a very important thing to do. So I'm on the road as you watch this. But I really wanted to come to you guys with some valuable information and the weekly sound farmer live stream so just so you know when you're chatting now and saying hi and all of that maybe as we are on the road my wife will be able to check the live chat a little bit um but it is very likely that we are not going to be able to interact with you but i still wanted to do the live stream so here's what we're going to be talking about we're going to talk about holistic management in a nutshell, holistic management, what is it and and um, why, why should people manage holistically and learn about it? So basically, this is something that is very dear to my heart. And the Sound Farmer is focusing pretty much everything we do is based on the principles of managing holistically and the holistic management framework. And what I've found is that most people who even say holistic management or think they know what holistic management is, they actually don't fully understand what holistic management is. In fact, they often um, get it quite wrong. And so I, I created a video course just to give people a basic understanding of what holistic management really is. But um, I understand that not everybody will just go and purchase a course. So I wanted to do this live stream basically as a step even before that. So you have, you know, you have obviously all the holistic management, the textbooks and the eBooks that you can purchase. And you have a bunch of videos out there, which I, I always caution everybody to be very careful about that stuff because there's some information out there on YouTube and other platforms that's solid, but there's a, a lot of other information out there from very well-known people even that just get it quite wrong, okay? Um, and I know a lot of people who are quite well-known in the permaculture business, for example, they, they even get it wrong. They do not understand what holistic management is. And so, so you have... You have a lot of videos. Be careful with that. Then you have the Savory Network, which is the driving force behind holistic management. Alan Savory, who um, pretty much he, he was one of the main people behind developing um, the framework. And the Savory Institute puts out some information. And you have the Savory Hubs. They are the certified local training centers spread out over the world, popping up more and more. Um, that can give you a full holistic management training through all the planning processes and the fundamentals and um, through, through you know, having certified hubs, the Savory Institute guarantees that there is an equal quality of the teaching material uh, wherever you go. And then the actual teachers of holistic management, such as myself, are called accredited professionals. Um, there are different levels of accreditation with the Savory Institute, but the people at the hubs most of the time or people that do, um, you know, freelancing teaching, so to speak, um, they are called accredited professionals like myself. So we are people who have gone through the trainings um, and, and not just not just the training ones, but we have gone through, um, you know, all the material a couple of times. And then we have a, um, you know, a, a exit review or interview or something like that with um, accredited professionals from the Savior Institute staff that make sure you know your stuff and um, that you get your stamp, your certification. So that's what I did uh, for the last few years. And so what I share with you is I would like to say and think stuff uh, for, that comes from a um, correct understanding of the material. 
I do, as an accredited professional, have access to all the official materials from the Savory Institute, the eBooks and the curriculums. And we have monthly meetings where I continue my education and so on. So be careful where you go to when you try to get information on holistic management. But um, there is a lot of confusion out there about what holistic management is. And one of the confusions is that holistic management for the, the, the most well-known aspect of it, so to speak, is one of the planning procedures called holistic plant grazing. And I mean, the reason for that is because that's where I would say Alan Savory and the Savory Institute has, has kind of gotten most famous for, most well-known for, is because of their holistic grazing practices um, on, you know, different kinds of, of um, land. Well, that is by far not everything that holistic management, um, you know, contains, so to speak. That is just one planning procedure. And even within holistic plant grazing, most people do not understand what that means. It is not rotational grazing. It is not just strip grazing. It's not just moving your animals around. But holistic plant grazing actually builds, needs to, like all the planning procedures, fundamentally build on the holistic management fundamentals. And so... So if you think holistic management has just to do with livestock or even just to do with farming, um, you're, you're wrong. So holistic management was developed, I, I, I think we can say, by farmers for farmers, but it goes way beyond that. So farmers will benefit a ton from it because a lot of material is tailored towards the farmers and homesteaders and ranchers. However, it is absolutely not limited um, to farmers only. In fact, one of the first things you learn when going through the holistic management fundamental training is that we need to have a holistic perspective and everybody needs to manage holistically. Otherwise, we get things wrong. Okay. And I hope you'll understand more of that at the end of this live stream. So, what is holistic management and why does it matter? Why is it important? What is it then if it's not, you know, kind of healing grasslands, what many people think, if it's not rotational grazing, moving livestock around, um, what is holistic management? Holistic management is managing complexity, Alan Savory said. It's managing complexity. It's all the things that we try to juggle and manage already, Okay. And this is what I want you to understand, that holistic management is nothing new. It's in the sense that it's nothing that whatever I'm going to try to tell you now is this, oh my gosh, I wish I would have known this. It's, It's not like that, okay? The fundamentals of holistic management, the a lot of that stuff is just common sense. There's there's some key insights that are absolutely significant that are important to understand um, what holism is and also to understand um, our ecosystem, how it functions. And, and those can be some aha moments and really, really essential understanding. So because, because lots of people, still scientists, get this absolutely wrong, even though it has been debunked, their stand has been debunked. Um, decades ago okay especially when it comes to overgrazing and all that stuff but most of the stuff that the holistic management fundamentals are about and teach us is common sense stuff and so when i say managing complexity look it's what you are all trying to do people who are skeptical towards holistic management are skeptical most of the time because they hear the word holistic But all it means is that we need to understand that all things that we are trying to juggle and manage in our life, that they really um, have an impact on on each other. And if we we make a decision in one area, it affects the other and so on. And so holistic management 
is managing complexity. Okay, I think I have a quote here that I want to show you guys real quick. Um, yes, here it is from Alan Savory. The land is so tied to the culture of the people and to the economy that all three need to be managed indivisibly as we do when managing holistic holistically. This is the fundamental understanding of what holistic management is. Okay. It is the understanding that we need to manage those things together because they are so closely tied together. And if we mess with one, it'll have an effect on the other. Okay. And so wherever we go, wherever we are, wherever we live, we need to understand that managing holistically starts with this understanding that Okay, the culture, my culture and the culture of the people where I just moved to, where I just want, where I live, my relationships, my life, who we are, who makes decisions, our resources, our land, the land's health, all the, all the animals, the understanding of the ecosystem processes, our finances, the finances of the people around us, all these things, all these things matter in our management because they all have an impact on our, um, you know, on each other. That is basically what we are doing when we manage holistically. Okay. We, we manage those things indivisibly. Okay. So, um, please understand that that, what I just told you, goes way beyond being a livestock farmer or having a big farm or a small farm or being a farmer at all. This is something that anyone everywhere, when you think about it, understands. This could be a couple in an apartment in New York City. This could be a single in Tokyo. This could be anyone anywhere understanding the choices I make, the decisions I make, okay? They have an impact on the environment, they have an impact on my finances. They have an impact on my relationship. It is all connected. And so that is what I want people to understand. And the second thing is that holistic management is not telling you, look, everything you have done is complete garbage and wrong. And you now need to come to us because we know the truth and we are going to teach you. And, and otherwise you will be a complete failure. Okay. It would be an interesting discussion just to, I just mentioned failure. It would be an interesting discussion to just see what do people define as successful, right? So if I would ask you the question, who's watching this live stream and, and interested in this, what is success to you, right? What are desired outcomes in your life, on your land, in your quality of life, in your family, for your finances, right? All that. That's what we try to do with holistic management. And so the holistic management fundamentals, the foundation, what we need to start with before we go to holistic plant grazing or holistic ecological monitoring or holistic land planning or holistic financial planning, before we get to all of that, we need to lay the foundation. And that is that we understand, hey, we need to manage holistically all these aspects in our life. And it starts with, defining what is it, you know, what are, what is success for us? What are desired outcomes for us? We need to create clarity. And this is something um, in my video course, I go through this in more depth where I really share um, about the holistic context. This is what we create. So here's a difference between context and holistic context, because people don't understand that. And it's not, context is powerful and holistic context is some weird stuff. Okay. We, um, Alan Savory is really trying to, you know, teach all of the accredited professionals like myself, please don't say context. He's, he, uh, he once in a conversation, um, I was on a, on a zoom meeting with um, lots of APs with Alan Savory and I said context and he corrected me. And he said, don't call it a context. Everybody has a context. And everybody that he knows 
every human being that he can think of tries to make decisions based on their context, on what is going on right now and affecting them. What we try to do in holistic management is we are trying to create a holistic context, some, a, a, which is something that describes something that we align ourselves with. We align ourselves with it. And so we can check our decisions with it. That when we check, should I take this, do, this action? Which decision should I make? We check it, if, how it aligns with our holistic context so that we can think of all the aspects, everything that could happen, that, that is, might be impacted and what the outcome might be. Okay, we trying to not lose sight of the whole picture. We are trying to focus on. We're trying to focus on the whole so we don't get stuck on thinking of like some little aspect that is just one aspect of everything. And that's, you know, that that's really the foundation. And. You are trying to do this. I recently released a YouTube short where I said, we are all trying to do this already. Everybody is obviously trying to make decisions that will not harm them personally or have them go broke or make them live in a horrible environment, right? We, we are all trying to somehow make decisions that that are like that already, especially if you're a homesteader, if you are a farmer, if, if you're a rancher, whatever, if you have, you know, have to manage land directly under your management, you know how hard it is to combine your, the finances, your personal quality of life and the land's health and, la and animals health, how to do this successfully that's what holistic management is okay and so what we what we start with in holistic management is you we don't start with the livestock we don't start with you know um with the land because first and foremost you are managing your own lives that of your families so that is why I think it's so powerful and where people can get so quickly ahead of themselves. When I, a few weeks ago, a couple months ago, when I started to really put out content about holistic management, when I did these live streams here and I did YouTube shorts and I, I started to share little bits of truth about holistic management, I got mixed reactions. I got some people you know, I once I said, be very careful with YouTube how to videos because it might be something that might not fit you, that might not be your you. And I got some some very aggressive feedback from some people. Well, what's the point then? You know, why should we watch YouTube videos? And and here's the thing, I have created a lot of how to videos myself. But now that I've gotten a full understanding of what holistic management is, I will always come back to that and, and tell people, look, how to is important. We all need to have certain understandings and know how to do certain things. However, we need to make sure that they are in alignment with our holistic context, with what... Um, what we value the most. And if we don't do that, we cannot ensure that we have desired outcomes. So holistic management goes far beyond livestock. It goes far beyond land. And many people, many teachers in the Savory Institute, accredited professionals, people that have been doing this for decades that I look up to that um, have trained me, they even say that the, they think out of all the planning procedures that, for example, holistic financial planning 
is so significantly important that it is easily what they think is the most important planning procedure out of everything. Because if we get that wrong, then, you know, why do we do a land plan or ecological monitoring or a, a grazing plan? And so I really believe, and I do not know of a different way of how to do this more successfully than holistic management. So holistic management matters and should matter to all of us because it provides us with tools, it provides us with a framework, and beyond that, it provides us with relationships and a, a, a network, a community. We connect with other people who, who are holistic management practitioners and who, who work with this. It provides us with the support that we need to enable us to do this. That's why I think it's so important. That's why I think it's so important for you and for me to get into this and and to get it right from the beginning. So it, it, it is really it is really funny to me. Like when I started sharing about holistic management, I got a few comments from people who were like, um, you're you you're not managing holistically. You know, you don't even have good uh, good results. And the only thing I could think of what they were referring to is that they're saying, well, you don't have livestock right now. Because that fundamentally shows that they do not understand what holistic management is. Yes, currently, I do not manage any livestock with holistic plant grazing. I did that the last year and a half in Austria before we moved to this farm where we are currently just farm sitting before our move to the United States. I managed a flock of sheep holistically on a farm and I shared videos about that. But I, we manage our lives holistically, guys. That's what it is about, okay? We manage our lives holistically. When you say holistic plant grazing is when you plan your your grazing operation then you think of everything you think of your finances you think of your quality of life you think of the wildlife you think of the of other environmental aspects you think of all those things when you plan your grazing you plan it you don't just plan to once a day move them you think of everything you you make sure it's aligned with your context, with what you value the most. If you plan something that takes away all your time and um, impacts your relationships, then you, you're doing something wrong. It's holistic plant grazing because we think of all those things. So I believe that those people don't even understand what holistic plant grazing is because they probably just think of rotational grazing. Look, Holistic plant grazing can only be holistic if it incorporates all of that, if we manage the complexity of our lives, finances, relationship, culture, all that stuff together. And that's what we do when we plan our grazing holistically. This, the kind of the, the um, tagline of holistic plant grazing is the right animals at the right place at the right time for the right reasons with the right behavior. And that, those right reasons and the right, all that, that can all be affected by anything. Could be affected by your finances, by the land, where we want the land to get. It could be by, by birds nesting on the ground. It could be um, your family vacation that you're going on and you need a plan for them to be at a certain place. It could be um, weaning that they have to be at a certain place on the farm during that time, right? It could be so many things. That's why it's holistic plant grazing. It's not just plant grazing, even. It's not, it's not what people think, okay? I, I have a lot of people tell me here in Europe where farms often are quite small and you have different paddocks divided. Sometimes you have to drive a few minutes to even get to one of them. Um, you have lots of chopped up um, properties, so to speak. They say, well, holistic management doesn't work here. 
and they don't understand that it's not moving your cattle daily from once you know all the time yes there is a reason why people do that but especially in a situation like that where you would have a very challenging property very challenging land layout with maybe different um, pieces scattered around a holistic land plan a holistic um, grazing plan a holistic approach to managing that land is even more important in that case because of its complexity it makes it a lot harder when you don't have one piece of land that's all connected and so there's even more reason to plan and to manage that all together right so since it is managing complexity the more complex and challenging a situation becomes the more important it is the greater the need is to actually manage this the right way and that's what holistic management helps us with so um yeah this this is just something you know as i try to share about holistic management and try to put this information out there make it available and tell people try try to get people to understand and get hungry for more so that we can actually you know the, train people the ap's and the savory hubs that we can help people at the sound farmer spend more time with them to focus on their specific issues i i spend a lot of time and money on getting myself trained properly in holistic management and um i want other people to to get there as well um, but as i do that i have found out now the last months that the biggest challenge in this is that the biggest um, adversary, so to speak, is wrong understanding, wrong knowledge, what people think holistic management is, right? So they, another thing is they, they just think, um, yeah, so you have, you have organic farming and you have conventional farming and then you have um, biodynamic farming and you have permaculture and you have regenerative agriculture and what, you know, and to be honest, whatever are those things anyway, because they have all gotten so wishy-washy that barely anybody has a definition of all of that anymore. And then, but then people say, and you have holistic management and they often just say, oh yeah, that's with the livestock, you know, those cattle people, but no, 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 no. You're getting something completely wrong here. Holistic management is, is something for, for anyone and everyone. Whether you consider yourself a permaculture person, an organic farmer, uh, a florist, you know, a, a aquaponics person, a conventional farmer, you all are trying to juggle all these aspects of lives. So you all try to manage everything. And so you all should understand and see the need for managing holistically. So they could be a conventional farmer with corn and soy fields who, who, who could manage holistically, just doesn't do holistic plant grazing. But hopefully, as we in, a holist, in holistic management train people in really understanding our ecosystem, our landscape, as we walk the people through in the trainings through the key insights and the ecosystem processes and all this and the framework, hopefully people will understand the impact corn and soy field monocultures have on their land, on the land, even on their finances, on their life. And maybe they can then through the right understanding and training, make better decisions holistically to create something that's more stable. But, but from the beginning, holistic management is not just another thing like permaculture or organic farming or something. That, that's complete nonsense. It's something that everybody is trying to do. Okay? And holistic management provides a framework for them. So, why... Why should anybody do it this way? Look, we, the Savory Institute or, or 
me as an accredited professional with the Sabre Institute, we do not think everybody is stupid who doesn't do it this way. But if you have a better way, like, like how is it going for you? I mean, how, how is your farm? How is your life? How's your quality of life? How's your health? How is your land's health? Your, your wallet, your bank account? How are all those things going? Look, if, if, if you're doing this all perfectly already, then okay, go ahead. More power to you. Um, and if you have the honesty to tell people, well, it'll be different for you. This is what works for me, but you'll have to figure out your own way. Great. If you know, there are a lot of people who are like, I have success this way and other people have to do it this way too. I mean, then, then you're back at industrial farming. One approach fits everybody. But if you feel like this is hard, this is challenging, like we all know, right? Then, well, that's a good reason why you should train yourself more in holistic management, why you should go deeper into it, why you should spend some time and resources on really getting a deep understanding of all the holistic management um, fundamentals, the framework, the planning procedures. So here is what I want to recommend you guys. I know a lot of you guys who watch, you want to do it right. You want to do it right on your homestead, your land. And sometimes it can be paralyzing, you know, a little bit like you can get stuck in something because you're not sure what should I do right now? Where, you know, where should I invest my time? Where should I invest my money? Um, and, and there are so many things, so many things that can be overwhelming. And, and I have been there. My wife and I, we have been there. We have done a lot of things wrong in the past. We were not managing holistically in Sweden. And we are seeing a lot of that now. We have realized a lot of that now in the last years as we were trained and educated ourselves. So many things could have been avoided. So many things, like we lost money, we lost time. We created social weak links, issues and relationships right? So much was affected, which holistic management just came and said, well, that should have been obvious. And we could have avoided some of those things. So we know, we know the challenges, we know the difficulties. But that is why we have committed our lives to help people become sound farmers, to help farmers become sound farmers, sound practices, sound management. That's where the sound farmer was born. Because I I have also seen so many people, you know, give people help, but those people then have help for a moment. And it's, it's kind of like, it's, you know, you become dependent on that help or that knowledge or that input. And one reason why at the Sound Farmer here, we, we, we focus so much on, um, on holistic management is because, yes, we make a living right now partially through training people in holistic management. My wife and I do. Okay. Yes, I offer a video course about holistic management. I sell, I sell it. I sell, um, you know, I have different offers and services in where I train people in holistic management. I do those things. I do earn my money that way. But the reason we are doing that is because we know it leaves you guys, it leaves the clients, it leaves the people that we get to work with, with the tools and resources that they in the future can manage soundly by themselves. They will not be dependent upon us anymore, on me or on anybody else, because we are, we are trying to just, you know, train them in foundational, like the Savory Institute, the Savory Hubs, 
the, when you go through the holistic management um, trainings, the, it is so that the people get the understanding and the knowledge that they need in order to manage soundly themselves so that you yourself can make decisions with, um, you know, without needing to always have to go to somebody. Now, there's a value in that. And, and for those who want that, we, we offer that too. We have different offers where we can come alongside for a longer stretch um, alongside people. I mean, I have people I can reach out to myself that I can, um, you know, that are mentoring me st still that I can go to for advice. That That's extremely valuable. But our goal is to equip people, empower farmers to live their dream. Like it says on our website. That's what the sound farmer is about. And so I know of no better way to do that than holistic management. And, um, you know, holistic management can look very, very different for, for many people. So a couple of weeks ago, guys, I did a live stream with y'all about holistic financial planning. And, and I, you know, I shared with you guys, I shared about a, one of my clients gave me some feedback and I, I read that to you guys. I, I want to read that again because it shows what holistic management can do, right? So what did I do with this client? She, she wanted some how-to help and I did give her some how-to advice, but I brought her back to holistic management, the importance of it and to plan things and to look at it, kind of zoom out I'll take a bird's eye view of the life and here's what she did and what it did to her. After a few conversations that Simeon had with me about the holistic approach, I realized that each component of my little homestead could be fitted together just as pieces of a puzzle fit together, creating the picture that I had so long desired but could not accomplish. In our situation, due to age, we are downsizing. And following Simeon's lead, I realized that fewer planting areas, fewer animals, working with nature and all the detailed decisions I made based on holistic principles would actually give us more, not less. Most important, the feeling of being constantly overwhelmed will lessen because I took time to make a plan and am now implementing the plan. Many thanks, Simeon. This is a welcome change for our daily life. And it this struck me so much because I saw how just by the little bit of time I spent with this person and the resources I gave her, I gave her the official savory eBooks that she could work through herself at her um, speed. Just that gave her this complete new perspective and she was able, she did all the planning by herself she came to these conclusions by herself. She didn't need me for those things. Um, I, I was just able to push her in the right direction. And that's the power of managing holistically. So folks, if you feel like that is something that would be beneficial to you, that you want to have a tool in your hands that will help you to manage your finances, your land, your homestead, your farm, you know, your your family, your your relationships, all that together, then holistic management is there for you. It starts and it finishes with you, and it's there to assist you in that process. And so let me leave you now at the end of this pre-recorded live stream. Let me leave you now with the, with the information of how to do this, different ways you could go about this. On Amazon, you can buy the Holistic Management textbook and handbook that has all the information in it. It's written by Alan Savory and his wife, Jody Butterfield. Great, amazing books. You can purchase them there, work through them. 
there are some, um, like I said, some videos online. Be careful there what source they are from, okay? But you can find them. The Savory Institute themselves, they have some videos out there. Um, I do have a lot of videos on holistic management. You can go back a couple of weeks ago, like I said, I did a video on holistic financial planning, for example. On the Savory website, it's savory.global. You can purchase the Holistic Management Fundamentals course, okay? Uh, you can go through the course and it teaches you a lot of stuff. You can try to find a Savory hub close to you and they exist at different places all over the world and they have they offer holistic management trainings in the fundamentals, in financial planning, in plant grazing, in land planning, in ecological monitoring. You can take courses and trainings there, okay? I have created a video course that is a bit more comprehensive than this stream that we just did. It covers um, the, the whole framework um, as an overview showing what holistic management really is about and why it matters. There's a lot of focus on what it is and why it matters. And, and then the reason I created that course is I wanted to give people the opportunity to learn more about holistic management before they spend lots of time and money on enrolling into a comprehensive training. And so this course is, is, is cheap, $49. And it's, it's not super long. So that would be a good starting point if you feel like I'm still not sure. Um, and, you know, these trainings, they're like quite intensive and take a lot of time and money. Maybe I should start here because you also get the ebooks with it and so on. Now, I am currently not part of a savory hub. Okay. Even though we have thoughts and plans for that once we get to the U.S., I'm an incredible professional working by myself in consulting and coaching people with the sound farmer and holistic management as part of that. As part of our offers and services that we offer, I do offer the holistic management eBooks from the Savory Institute. Some of the offers that we have on um, available for you guys they focus specifically on creating the holistic context so if that's what you need to help with you can do that maybe you want to go into holistic financial planning then we have an offer um, that focuses on that so you would get for example you would get all the fundamental ebooks about holistic management you would get the holistic financial planning ebooks uh, you would get a spreadsheet from us where you can create your holistic financial plan we would enroll you into the holistic management course that we have created. And you would get um, time with me, one-on-one -on -one time with me to talk through your questions and your holistic financial plan. And that's an offer for holistic financial planning. And we have the same offers for land holistic land planning and for holistic plant grazing. If you do really want to focus on um, the, the um, planning aspect of your grazing. And um, all those offers are on our Volley site. You can reach that through our website, thesoundfarmer.net. You can just go there, okay? This is, this is the direct um, address to our Volley, but you can see that down there on, at thesoundfarmer.net. You can find that link there and go there. We have all those offers there. So we completely um, changed the services that, that we offer for people here because Volley was very new. We started and launched this a few weeks ago and we didn't really understand um, or, or fully know yet how should we go about this. And we just completely renewed um, that entire page um, based on, on what we saw and, and the feedback we got. So... Where in the beginning, you could just book some 10 minutes with me or an hour with me or whatever. Now, we have really created holistic context creation session, holistic financial planning session, holistic land planning session, holistic plant grazing session. And, and so you see what comes with each offer. You see the time you get with me. You see the books or materials that come with it. And 
I believe personally that those are great ways for you to really start and dive deep into holistic management, specifically for where you feel like it applies the most in your context and your holistic context currently. Okay. So um, go check that out if you want to. Um, I, you know, I think, I think it's, it can be very beneficial. Some, we did this holistic land planning bundle a few weeks ago and we had eight participants in that. We did a zoom group coaching call and it was, it was really good. It was really fun. Um, and, and I'm now working one-on-one with those guys that, that purchased this after. And, and that was part of what really led us to renewing these offers. So we want to get holistic management into you, into your mind, into your thinking. We want to help you to get the tools and the knowledge that you need. And the South Farmers about empowering farmers to live their dream. Okay, guys, this pre-recorded live stream is ending right now. I hope you had fun. I am probably still driving right now as you are finishing and watching this. I hope this cleared up some misunderstandings and, and thoughts that you guys had. And I hope you see I hope you see what holistic management is and the benefit of it and how it can help you. Thank you guys so much for watching and tune in for more videos, for more content, and feel free to reach out to us at any time. You have a contact form on our website. That's right. Let me let me share this real quick. So I made a post on YouTube and on Facebook and on Twitter um, a few days ago where I shared that we have created a free space on Bali where I also do my coaching and consulting. Go check out those posts. I do not have a link here right now for you, but it's basically a space where um, a bunch of people have joined already. It's it's where people who want to become sound farmers, we, we can talk about different subjects there we can ask questions i created a homeschooling channel um holistic management you can just ask questions about something else you can introduce yourself and it's really cool a few people have really um started there and and i think it's a great way for you to have a free extra resources with like-minded people and network that's what i was talking about earlier um just joining together and learning about that stuff. So um, that can be a great support as well. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.